back to the model bench. On this episode I'm going to be looking at preparing 3D printed parts just to get them ready for painting. Um, this piece here is the cargo hatch on the forecastle and as you can see it has um, its supports still attached part of the 3D printing process. Um, it's a beautiful little piece really great detail compared to the kit part so I am going to remove these supports here um, just along the back uh, you can see along the side uh, along the front all those little parts just need to be clipped and removed um, and then I'll wash the part and get it ready for priming so I've just got like a little these little kind of pliers the finer one you get probably the better and I'm just going to very carefully just snip off these supports like this. And once you get them, you can start to remove the front pieces like that. The key to this is just to take your time and also familiar familiarize yourself with the part you're cutting because you don't want to cut away parts there are meant to stay there obviously so there we are and we can tidy up any little bits that are still attached so I'll we'll get on and do the rest of this so now here's our finished piece removed from all its supports just give it a little bit of a sand light sand underneath as you can see that looks great, really nice detail. So I'm going to give it a little wash in warm soapy water and then I'll give it a, a prime coat. So here is the finished piece, primed, ready to go. Um, as you can see it really brings out the detail, absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to compare that to the kit part. <coughs> So you can see there's really no comparison. Absolutely wonderful. Look at that. So obviously I will have to remove this piece and then that piece will just sit on top and once I get the decking in. All of these will have to be removed too. That'll be fine. So yeah, now on to painting. And here is the finished piece, all painted up. A little bit of weathering as well, just around some of the hatches, just to give it a bit of life. Yeah, fairly pleased with this. I painted the top just a flat white, and then the sides I painted a dark orange colour, XF84. And it just looks a little bit kind of more steel, kind of, you know. I've got all the little rivets there, I don't know if you can see that. So until next time, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.